Hey everybody, Mr. Morell here. And in this video, we're gonna do a quick review of vectors. This is stuff that we talked about at the end of second trimester, which feels like that was five years ago. Uh, but you're gonna have a review vectors assignment to make sure that we can teach you one last new thing that we've decided to teach you for the year. So in this video, we're gonna be reviewing some vectors vocabulary. We're gonna be uh, reviewing what components of a vector are and how to find the magnitude. So we're gonna start off with this vector right here. Um, pretty simple vector going on. Uh, and basically what I wanted to review is remember the butt end of a vector is the initial point. It's where it starts. And then the tail, or not the tail end, the head over here is called the terminal point. And when I ask you what an initial point and a terminal point are, those are just dots on a graph. It's this dot right here and it's this dot right here. So because they're just dots on a graph, what we need to do is we need to just write down the ordered pair. The initial point ordered pair is negative two because it's left two from the origin and then up five. So the ordered pair for the initial point is negative two, five. The terminal point ordered pair is it's over three and up one. Remember, rise over run only applies to slopes, not to ordered pairs. All right, so that's the initial point and the terminal point. Now, if you just see a vector like this with an arrow, that means it's asking for the components or the direction. So in other words, it wants to know, how are you moving from the initial point to the terminal point? And in this example, you could see we're going over one, two, three, four, five. And just like an ordered pair, you've got to do your over first. Now I'm going to use rather than parentheses, because that would be an ordered pair, we're going to use pointed brackets. Okay, here, let me bring this down this way. So pointed bracket, we went to the right five, so positive five. And then it looks like we're going down four. And so that component is going to be five, negative four. Again, components are the directions, same thing. And then, uh, oh, what I wanted to do before we talk about the magnitude is I wanted to review how to find the components if you don't have a picture. So for example, if we look at this page here, if we know the initial point and the terminal point, just like we've been doing in class over and over and over all year, is we could figure out how do you go from the initial point to the terminal point? How are you going from negative two to three? And that would be plus five. And if you didn't know that, three minus negative two is five. And then over here, how are we going from five to one? Well, we're subtracting four. And if you didn't know that, one minus five is negative four. And kind of a trick I pointed out right before uh, the break is you can kind of imagine this is your components. Basically, this triangle is reminding you that we need a triangle for our vector. This five can go right here. Then we've got our other triangle. Oops, I'm gonna have to break that up. Uh, let's see, how do I do that? Like that. And we could put a negative four on the inside. And of course, we won't forget our comma, even if it's in the wrong color. So again, you could just use that table as a trick. Oh my gosh, I can't grab that. There it is, almost, almost, ah, oh, yeah, okay. And of course, you probably wouldn't want that positive sitting right there, but you get the idea that you could set up a table. The little triangles we've been drawing are just a reminder about the type of bracket. All right, let's go back here and talk about the magnitude. Now, the magnitude is length. And so in general, what we've been doing is we imagine that this is a triangle right here. And we know that this side is five long and this side is four long. Or one thing you could do is look at your components and you could, what we're gonna do is use the Pythagorean theorem. So if we're looking at the picture, five squared plus four squared is gonna be 41. Okay, that's not the length. This is not 41 units long, but we're gonna get there. And remember, you could do the same thing here, but when you square your negative four, make sure you put it in parentheses so that negative four squared is 16, not negative 16. Anyway, like I said, uh, the answer isn't 41, it is the square root of 41. You've gotta take that final step and take the square root. So the length of this vector is the square root of 41. That is the exact length. The magnitude 
equals exactly the square root of 41. Now we usually give an approximation because the square root of 41 is kind of obscure. And when I type the square root of 41 in my calculator, I'm gonna get approximately, let's see, let's go two decimal places as a rule, 6.40. The next number was a three, so I didn't have to bump this up. Anyway, that is your quick review about components, about initial point, terminal point, uh, components, you already said that, and then the magnitude. Uh, hopefully that helps you do your homework and that you just have the most amazing life that you can. Okay, have a good day. Bye.